The ramp up tournament is here and that of course means that we need best decks for it so you guys can crush this thing. The more wins you can get the better so we have three of the greatest decks you can use in this tournament. It can go from one times to three times elixir so it's definitely important that you use the correct deck. Use code Diddy if you'd like to support the channel and of course remember to subscribe because we are so close to 200,000 it's absolutely ridiculous man. Can't thank you guys enough for the support and be sure to watch until the end for my favorite deck that I'm going to be using in the tournament. Deck number one of three today is going to be this Royal Recruits Fireball Bait deck because it's insanely powerful against so many easy easy matchups right now. Any bait that you're going to face, this deck will 100% hard counter. Best of luck to Nova. He's going to need it. And like I said, we have our favorite deck saved till the end of the video. Let's go. Tombstone first play. We played it a little bit weird there, but I do love myself some fireball bait. I'm a big fan of this deck. Not only is this the version with the arrows in it, simply because of all the firecrackers, goblin barrels, miners. I don't know why I said miners, but a lot of bait cards that you can use the arrows on. Let's go in for just some road recruits here. I'm assuming we're going to see some sort of cannon hidden tesla in the middle and then we're gonna be able to flying machine overhead hopefully allowing us to do a bunch of damage now as we see here the cannon comes down he's gonna not have enough elixir for a fireball though those zappies and royal recruits on the right side don't sleep on them guys they are going to put in some work especially with the skeletons the log does need to come down which is fantastic the flying machine's gonna get targeted but look at this here it's gonna do a little bit of damage to that musketeer before going down so now we can barb barrel take out that musketeer for just two elixir he doesn't have the cannon maybe uh, for our roll hogs, that would be epic if that is the case. He's got a fireball that's still going to be some awesome damage. And he goes with the skeleton. So 5 elixir for 5 elixir and we do get some hits. These are the type of trades that you absolutely love to see. Now we are facing a cycle deck, so this dude basically has no chance. Unless he gets really lucky, unless he makes an insanely good play, all we have to do is keep doing what we're doing. Defend, do those split lane pressure pushes, and he's either going to need to fireball our flying machine or fireball our royal recruits, um, or sorry, zappies, or the flying machine, uh, what am I saying now? Or the uh, Royal Hogs and um, whichever one he doesn't fireball is going to get way too much value. He's not going to be able to keep up with the sauce. So let's go in with some Royal Recruits here. A big thing with this deck is, of course, playing control. Understand your opponent's deck first. If they have a bunch of answers to your Royal Hogs, it might be difficult. There's certainly other ways around it, though. So we see the cannon in the middle. We are 100% going to Flying Machine this. Obviously, we're going to be able to take out that cannon. If he does fireball our Flying Machine, then we are, have free reign, quite literally, to go in with our Royal Hogs and put in that work. Let's go ahead and fireball this Musketeer, though. She should go down to the flying machine here in just one tap and that is a beautiful amount of damage we're going to get on that right side tower we're going to need to just keep on splitting up zappies you can see here that this is working very effectively we really aren't going to need to overcommit. we really aren't going to need to do anything crazy and sometimes although that might be boring it's going to get you the wins guys and that is what's important the barb is going to take uh, uh, that out right there we can just go with some road recruits a little bit higher this time we're going to try and get a nice little push up in here we can go with our flying machine in the middle and this time i almost guarantee you he is going to try and fire fireball this flying machine um, but we hit a really nasty fireball there actually missing the cannon which isn't the best we're gonna go ahead and arrows this we do miss the tower we nail the cannon he's going to hopefully fireball the flying machine like we said and if he does that is going to be game over. So let's go ahead and Tombstone. The reason why we waited a second there was just in case he went for the prediction log. Hog Rider gets no hits. Let's go ahead and just keep cycling because there's no reason to overcommit. There's no reason to go crazy here. We're getting easy value. The tower will fall with just a couple more fireballs. The Zappy and Fly Machine are more than capable of taking down that hog rider if it gets a hit or two really not the end of the world let's go ahead and arrows those one unit skeletons he's about to place we catch an ice spirit nearly ending the game but because we have so many spells because he's going to need to fireball this i do expect this to be the game ending push he's going to fireball it's not going to be enough and that's going to be a fantastic way to start the video let, let us just have this one man it's 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 over he got a couple hits with the hog as we saw not a big deal give him some love very well played but sadly nothing he can do deck number one dominating in the arena so this has been deck number one all the deck links will be down below in the description if you'd like to copy them for yourself and while you're on your way down there leave a like on the video but deck number two is going to be graveyard freeze with the golden knight right golden knight's very powerful bowler baby dragon inferno dragon all excellent on defense the graveyard freeze combo on attack with something tanking is phenomenal and of course the guards spam with the tornado it's excellent let's get into match number two with this deck once again play some defense first you have excellent answers to pretty much anything they could send at you find out what they have before going crazy there are those times right where you can get lucky by being really aggressive but with a deck like this 
it's better in the long run, especially if you're going for a lot of wins. Type, take your time with it, folks. Let's go in with a love emoji, right? We're literally just going to talk ourselves through this here. Half of the first minute is already down. And what we might do here, honestly, is just go with a baby dragon in the back. A baby dragon in the back is not a terrible first play. Um, he goes with guards, luckily more in the same lane as their baby dragon. But the baby dragon in the back is a nice play because typically they will have to spend a little bit of elixir on that. Um, and it just gets the game going. So we see a minion horde into our baby dragon let's nato yeah because there was no way he was going to let that baby dragon get that much value i knew it let's go, let this minion die and then we're just going to go with our inferno dragon oh inferno dragon for some reason does not target the minion sorry um but he goes with the zap spell which is an overcommitment in a big way let's go in with our uh, graveyard i was going to go to knight but i think the graveyard here could be better um because that infernal dragon's going to tank he just used his zap spell so if the infernal dragon tanks for a little bit here which it looks like it is that is going to be quite a bit of damage i'm honestly okay with that his giant did a little bit of work there nothing too crazy we're going to save our baby dragon for the minion horde we're going to go with the bowler here instead even though it's a little pricier it'll get the job done and i mean he spent so much elixir on that defense there that was definitely a good move let's go in with our golden knight as well i don't know if he He's got the minion horde back ready. Um, there's the Sparky. Golden Knight dashes onto that tower. Bowler's hopefully going to get some hits. Now, the, here's the problem. We might have overcommitted in a little bit. Uh, yeah, we might have overcommitted here. Um, Bowler's going to get hit, though. Not bad. So, even if we did overcommit... Ooh, Sparky goes other lane. Interesting. Even if we did overcommit, he, he's definitely going to try and counter push this. It's just a matter of how effective that will be. We can go ahead and toss out the guards here. He does have a zap spell, which is about to come down. He's going to zap the Inferno Dragon, and he missed everything. What are you doing, buddy? That is not how you use a zap spell, my friend. Let's go in with the Baby Dragon Graveyard. Let's try and take this thing right now. He's probably got a Minion Horde and bats. We tornado every... Oh, Baby Dragon died. Unfortunate. I did not expect the Baby Dragon to die that quickly, guys, but it does happen. And now we are left with nothing. Let's go into our Inferno Dragon here, even if he zaps it. Holy cow, buddy. What is going on right now, guys? He's going to try and um, zap here, but it's just not going to be effective. Simply not enough. Let's go in with our Golden Knight. Let's hit him with the ability. We're going to be able to get that connection on that tower. That will be tower down. Now we go into our baby dragon. Now we go into our graveyard. He's going to need to minion horde this. We have the freeze spell in our arsenal. We also have the tornado, baby. This is getting wild. We're going to get the two crown victory royale. This is what we like to see. Eight seconds left. We honestly might three crown this man. This deck is crazy. This is one of my favorites of the day. We aren't going to get the three crown, unfortunately. We get it. Holy cow, that tower got melted. What an insane deck for match number two. Fantastic deck. You saw it there. This deck is going to be powerful in the tournament i hope a lot of you guys are going to use this one this is a definite um a definite sleeper not a lot of people know about this deck you're going to want to try it out deck number three the final one of the day is another graveyard deck but this one's powerful because it's got the archer queen and the giant the giant's effective in tanking you have the snowball and arrows dual spells in order to do anything you really can the minions can tank really nicely because they don't die to zap they don't die to tornado they don't die to snowball so they can be very effective in the air as well countering other graveyards Skeleton Army, of course, can get value, and the Dark Prince on the ground is fantastic. Let's get into match number three. Final match of the day. Let's prove to you guys why this deck is the number one for me. I want to use it. I might use the deck number two, though. That freeze deck is a lot of fun, guys. Let's go in with a snowball just to get things rolling we have arrows in case they go with anything too crazy here let's go in with our archer queen though let's go in with the scar me please don't spell her down thank you sir we see the zab spell honestly not worth though elite bob gets one hit not the end of the world let's go in with our giant this is risky because i have no idea what they have this could pay off though depending on what they place please don't be a skeleton army it's another archer queen holy cow we gotta use that ability Oh, they use her, their ability, but look at whose Archer Queen is on top, baby. We're taking that whole tower down. It paid off in a big way. The minions are going to take this tower down. Um, we could prediction snowball. I'm not really feeling it. That is a big way to start a match. So right there, the elite barbs coming down just weren't out to play for them, guys. They really ran out of elixir. Our Archer Queen ability was perfectly timed, so they were able to shred the tower. And holy cow, we are using all of our elixir on that elixir pump. We cannot let them pump up. It only took it down to half HP. We do have a tower lead, but at the same time, if this is 3M Archer Queen that we're going against, um, this could be very difficult. This could be definitely not over by any means. But um, let's go ahead and see what's going on, though. Let's go into their Dark Prince in the back. We see the Rage spell. That is really quite strange. We see the Archer Queen as well. Um... I'm expecting to see some sort of elite barbs. We could go with the graveyard on defense here, but wow. The giant skeleton coming down. I have not seen the giant skeleton in a while, but here he is. 
Well, let's get ready to go. We know they got the Zab spell. We know our Archer Queen has gone down. Let's go in with our Skeleton Army. We see the ability. We're going to go ahead and Snowball. And hopefully that Archer Queen goes down there, guys. Beautiful stuff. This is really bad, though, because Double Elixir is here. And I genuinely don't think we're going to have an effective way of dealing with that Elixir Pump, which worries me. That, okay. Let's calm down, buddy. Nah, that, you can't be doing the mirrored pumps, dude, and he's gonna protect them at all costs. Of course, of course, man, this is bad. We actually might lose this. Can we, can we even defend this right now? I don't know. That is the scary thing here. Let's go in with literally an offensive graveyard. We're doing it. We are doing it. And then we're gonna arrows both pumps. I don't even care, you know what I'm saying? We hit the queen as well. This is ridiculous. A pump meta. It's here, baby. Let's go into the giant. Let's go in with the Skeleton Army. He's going to probably try and zap this. Good. He e-barbs to the same lane. Good. Let's go in with the Dark Prince. We're going to need to snowball left lane. The Giant is just going to die, though. 17 seconds left. I don't even know if this is possible, man. Let's go, Dark Prince. You're getting great value here. You're getting fantastic value. 10 seconds left, dude. We just need a Giant to distract. 6 seconds. Are you kidding me? Clash Royale. Please, no. The Giant got melted, but we hang on for the win. Wild. That is insane. We get it done, though. Wow. That, I don't think you're going to face any decks like that but that was the final deck of the day so once again deck number one is going to be the fireball bait deck number two is going to be the freeze graveyard spam and the deck number three is going to be the giant graveyard archer queen and dark prince deck with the spam some wild decks i do wish you guys luck in the tournament hopefully you enjoyed today's video thank you so much for watching everybody master diddy sign out <laughs>